A Ferris wheel with a radius of 15 meters rotates once every 100 seconds. Riders board the Ferris wheel using a platform 1 meter above the ground. In Part A, draw the graph for two full rotations of the Ferris wheel. It takes 100 seconds for one complete rotation, so draw tick marks on the t-axis at 25 second intervals up to 200 seconds. Riders board the Ferris wheel at a height of 1 meter. The radius of the wheel is 15 meters, so the midline is at 16 meters, which is 1 plus 15, and the maximum height is at 31 meters, which is 1 plus 15 plus 15. The animation shows the rider oscillating between the minimum height of 1 meter and the maximum height of 31 meters. Two rotations of the Ferris wheel are shown, and each rotation has a period of 100 seconds. In Part B, write a cosine function that gives the height of the rider as a function of time. Bring up the graph from part A. The vertical displacement is 16 meters. The amplitude is 15 meters. The period is 100 seconds. The cosine shape we selected is upside down, so remember to introduce a negative when we create the function. The b value is pi over 50. The c value is 0. Plug the parameters into the general cosine formula, y equals a cos b theta minus c plus d. The independent variable is time, and the dependent variable is height. The function is h of t equals negative 15 cos pi over 50 t plus 16. In part c, Calculate the height of the rider after 1.6 rotations of the Ferris wheel. Bring up the graph and its function. We need to find the time required for 1.6 rotations. Multiply 1.6 rotations by the conversion multiplier 100 seconds over 1 rotation. This gives us 160 seconds. When t equals 160 seconds, the height is found by evaluating h at 160. The first way to find the height is to evaluate the function. Plug in 160 seconds for the time. This evaluates to 28.14 meters. The second way is to use technology. Set the view window to x min equals 0, x max equals 200, x scale equals 25, and y min equals 0, y max equals 32, and y scale equals 2. Graph the function and then use second trace value to evaluate the function when x equals 160. This gives us a height of 28.14 meters, which is the same result we obtained in method 1.
Now we'll move on to part D. In one rotation, how many seconds is the rider higher than 26 meters? Bring up the graph and its function. Draw the line y equals 26. We are trying to find the length of time that the graph rises over this line within the first cycle. We can find the points of intersection by solving the equation 26 equals negative 15 cos pi over 50t plus 16. Replace h of t with the height 26 meters. and solve for the times that make the function evaluate to 26. Now we'll use technology to find the points of intersection. Set the view window to x min equals 0, x max equals 200, x scale equals 25, and y min equals 0, y max equals 32, y scale equals 2, and graph each line. Use second trace intersect two times to find the points of intersection. The times are 36.61 seconds and 63.39 seconds. Subtract the two times to get the duration that the mass is higher than 26 meters. 63.39 seconds minus 36.61 seconds equals 26.78 seconds, which is the answer.